in the previous section we have looked at how exactly we can retrieve the changes from the salesforce or make the changes and deploy back to the salesforce and the question that i put forward was can i not do the same thing from my developer console the answer is yes you can go ahead and do that from your developer console as well with the help of the cli plus the vs code we have few options that we can quickly do it in terms of increasing the efficiency of the developer let's quickly look at that see the change for ourselves now what i wanted to do i wanted to create a apex class here so how do i do it control shift p and then say sftx colon i want to create a class so i'll just say create apex class i'll go ahead and click on this one what is the name that the class needs to be called with so i'll go ahead and say demo class from vs code i'm just giving the name so that way it would be easier for us to identify which class that we are deploying so once done i'm clicking on enter here now it is asking me where do you want me to save this it is giving me a path saying that okay under the force app under the main folder under the default folder there is a class folder do you want me to save this class under that folder structure or not is what the question is so since there is a template and there are sub folders which would which would hold the similar metadata types so under this folder you will have all the lightning components under this folder you will have all the classes under this folder you will have all the flexi pages since i wanted to maintain that consistency i'll go ahead and select the first option here in case if you have a different path you can select the second option and provide where you want to save this class to me so as soon as i do that there is a code that got generated for me and there is a constructor that is also got generated now in order for us to basically understand the power of the vs code and the cli so what i'll do i'll go ahead and write a method here so as soon as i as soon as i do that method and hit enter salesforce has prepopulated the code for me right so it has created a access modifier it has created the return type and it has created the name for my method so what i can do i can make the changes accordingly so i I'll, i'll just call it as uh, hello method so we do not have to worry about the syntax and i can make the changes accordingly depending on the syntax that got generated i'll simply write system dot so if you see here we are getting a lots of suggestions when it comes to your writing your code i'll say simply hello here so this is how powerful your ide is in terms of giving us the suggestions and also giving us the options where we can quickly go ahead and make use of them so that way we do not have to search for the syntax and also we do not have to write down the entire syntax we can save some time by using the suggestions that we get another example here that i can give you is in case if you have worked with aura components a controller that has been created should have a method with aura enabled so i'll just say aura enabled and hit enter as soon as i do that i have a code that gets auto generated with all the parameters that are needed so i i get a method with all the parameters that is needed here so i get the method with static with the method name try catch block and also an exception handler with a exception that has been thrown with the error message that we have received all right so that is how simple it is to generate your code once you have your CLI and VS Code installed together. Let's say if you want to write a conditional statement, simply write if, hit enter, and it would give you that syntax. If you want to fill out that with else, just hit enter after writing first two lines, first two words, and it should give you some suggestions. Similarly, in case if you want to write a for each loop, simply write for, simply write for, and hit enter, and you would be getting that syntax that you can leverage. Right, so that is how powerful the idea is, where you can get lots of suggestions on what you can do instead of looking for the syntax. You can focus more on the logic, where the syntax would be either given as a suggestion or you would be getting a pre-built syntax that you can make changes so that you can use accordingly. So that is the end of this section, and I'll meet you on the next section. Hey guys, if you like this video, do like. share and subscribe to sftc quest